Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new to my channel. My name is Ariana and today we're going to be creating this look right here. Okay, so I just realized that this part was muted, but I'm basically just going to apply some primer. This is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. Alright guys, so I'm going to start off with the James Charles X Morphe palette. This is my Wet n Wild Fluffy Blending Brush. And I am going to be grabbing this shade right here. Basically just going to grab that with the Wet n Wild brush. And I'm just going to start by tapping and then blending it into the eye. I'm also going to start winging this out just the teensy tiny bit on the end because we are going to be cutting the crease. So now that the eyes look like this, I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to go in with the color right next to it, which is like a burnt orange type of shade. So instead of blending this color, I'm literally just going to be tapping this right on top of the previous color. And then we're going to apply another color on top and then that's when we'll blend. So it is going to look a little unblended and gross, but like I said, we just want to build up the colors and then at the end is when we're gonna cut the crease and apply another color and then we can blend it. That way the colors don't fade. If that makes sense, you'll see, you'll see. Just trust the process because it will look a little intense without the blending like right now. It looks pretty intense, but it still looks beautiful. Like these two colors together look so beautiful together. But just trust the process because in the end there, it's just going to look so vibrant, so beautiful, and everything. So now with my Morphe M562 brush, which is this little fluffy blending brush, we're going to go in with You're Kidding, which is the vibrant, literally red color. And what we want to do with this color is literally apply it where our crease is and just tap it on and build up the color but don't blend it because we're not going to blend until we cut the crease. So now that the colors are on, we're going to cut the crease using the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium and my Morphe M170 eight brush this is literally perfect for cutting the crease i think i say this in every single video i'm sorry if it's like tedious probably sound like jacqueline hill right now morphe 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 but actually i don't even like morphe like that i just use it because it is cheap and some other products are good i only recommend the products that i actually have tried and liked and i that's the only products i ever recommend to you guys so you guys can definitely trust me on that but yeah just gonna go ahead and cut the crease and making sure i just tap it so that the color doesn't transfer with the concealer So now that both of the creases are cut, I do want to go in with more colors from this palette. I do want to do a colorful look today, so I'm kind of doing it kind of based off of James Charles' look. Like if you guys remember the look that he did that was colorful, like a rainbow. So I basically want to do that. Um, I'm going to go with like a yellow, a green, a blue, and a purple, like going into like a rainbow kind of like the look i did using the laura lee cat pajamas palette i guess we'll work from the outside towards the inside so i am gonna go in with the purple first um i'm gonna grab this shade right here from the james charles palette i guess i'm gonna use this crown brush it's a flat shader brush so i'm just gonna grab the color right on the brush like that and then just literally packing it on on the outer corner you might need to go in with a smaller brush just for like the more defined lines so i guess i'm just gonna do like like an angled brush kind of so i guess i'm gonna use this one this is the elf angled brush so i'm gonna use that to get into the corners
So with the other side of the brush, I'm going to be grabbing this shade right here. And I'm just going to pack that on right next to the dark purple shade from before. Like so. Flipping the brush and going back to the dark purple and just blending the two together. But just literally tapping the excess color on the brush, not blending it. And now I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye. So now with the same side that we used for that blue color, we're going to grab the color right on top, which is more of like a sky blue color, and place it right next to that color, blending the two together. Now with this other flat shader brush, which is more like concentrated and firm we're gonna grab this green shade right here and apply it right next to the color from before so we're basically doing and repeating the same process over and over again just to achieve an ultimate look on the eye oh that color is literally so pigmented y'all girl she did not come to play my eyes look so crazy right now but the last color we're going to grab is, is this yellow shade right here, which looks like a banana, y'all. Like a banana color. Like that's, I don't know. But we're going to grab that on this Wet n Wild Flat Eyeshadow Brush. I'm actually pretty sure this is actually their concealer brush, which is really small and everything. But I'm just going to pack that color. You know the gist right next to this color from before. So pretty much the same process over and over again. Don't worry if it looks really unblended or anything because we are going to blend the colors in the end. I'm just basically placing them on top so that we have them all together and then that's when we can blend it out. Alright, so now that this is done, I'm just going to go ahead and grab the same brushes that I use for each color and then start blending the colors out little by little. I think I'm going to go in with this lighter green color right here just to blend the green and the yellow a little better just because I did not expect that pigmentation from the darker green so I'm just gonna use this to blend the two together and hope that it blends <laughs> so now that all of the colors are on this is when we can go back in with the wet and wild fluffy blending brush and then just start literally blending the colors with whatever is left on the brush and just do like small circular windshield wiper motions and then going back in with the M562 brush we're gonna grab your kidding and literally intensify the crease so you can actually tell where it cuts and ends Sort of just like blending all of the colors together, if that makes sense. With the same brush, I am going to grab a different shade of purple just to blend the red with the purple and everything together. So I'm going to grab this shade right here. Actually, I'm going to use this um, Anastasia blending brush that comes in like all their palettes because it's a more smaller and defined blending brush and I feel like it'll be perfect for that little corner yeah all right so now I'm gonna go in with a white liner this is the NYX felt tip liner I do own the liquid liner but that one literally cracked so I guess I'm gonna try this one See if it doesn't crack. Hopefully it doesn't crack because I want to take pictures with this and I need my makeup to look popping or whatever. So this needs to work. So right off the back, I can tell that this is not going to crack. The only thing is that it literally took me forever because it's like drying out. Like when I do it on my hand, it's perfectly fine. But once I do it on here, I guess it's just because of the um, intensity of the colors. It just took me a while to do and build up a little. So this is as far as I could build it up. But I figured I would go in with flashback um, 
the white shade in the James Charles X Morphe palette just to like set it on top instead of going right in with the other white NYX liner um, because I don't want it to crack or anything but I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye off camera because my camera is dying so let me go ahead and charge it and I'll be right back so I basically applied some glitter liner right on top to kind of like focus the crease a little bit more so this is the NYX liquid crystal in crystal gunmetal I just apply that on top and then I did end up doing the same colors on the lower lash line just not as intense but now for the lashes I'm gonna go in with this Ardell Faux Make Pack and I'm gonna use this one right here which is the Faux Mink 811 but yeah I'm gonna apply that it does come with a dual lash glue in it but you guys know this is my favorite lash glue it's the Velour lash glue this lash glue literally holds the eyelashes on your eyes for so long so I'm gonna apply these lashes with this glue and yeah these lashes are pretty I mean a little on the natural side but they're pretty these are really pretty Alright, so now that the lashes are on, I'm going to apply mascara. The mascara I'm going to be using is the Pure Fully Chart Mascara. I have a little mini one. If you guys are thinking about getting this mascara, don't. Alright, so I'm going to set my face with this Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I'm just prepping my skin for the highlighter. So the highlighter I'm going to use is the Anastasia Amrezy Highlight. This is actually the old one just because I am trying to get rid of this one first then I can do the other one. But if you guys haven't already watched my video in which I literally test out the old release and the new release of the Amrezy Highlight, then definitely go check that out. Um, let's just say it's very, very intriguing. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight So for the inner corners of the eyes, I'm actually debating between these two. This is like a white with a holographic, like holographic pigments in it. And then this is the Wet n Wild Loose Pigment in Gold Pigment. So I mean, I can't decide between them. So I might just mix them to be honest. So I'm going to grab this like here, put it on the back of my hand. And then grab some of the Wet n Wild pigment and see how they look together on my hand and make that my inner corner highlight. Alright, so I'm going to mix that with the back of this. It is literally gorgeous, but I do want something a little more intense, so um, let me see. I'm going to top it off with the Anastasio Amrezy highlight. Just because I did want a little more shimmer to it and it was mostly like matte with a little shimmer so I think this will give me the pop that I wanted. For the lips I decided to go with a nude. The nude lipstick I'm going to be using is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Leo. I love Jeffree Star's liquid lipstick so so much like they're the perfect 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 formula and honestly they're never drying on the lips and then it's oh, so perfect. Girl, that is beautiful. Alrighty guys, so this is actually the completed look. I'm honestly living for it. I did do a little twist of my own compared to what James Charles did, but I'm honestly overall living for this look. And then I feel like my hair just makes it pop even more, you guys. Like this is so beautiful. I love this look so much. Like I'm literally about to go out like this. I don't care. I'm gonna look extra, but whatever anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this look this is literally something out of my comfort zone kind of not really because i would still wear this out but um if you guys enjoy them please give it a thumbs up if you guys aren't already subscribed make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe click the little notification button down below so that you guys can be notified whenever i post a new video and yeah i love you guys so much and until next time mm -hmm.